So we're here, we're here at the BenQ booth, and we're speaking with Art, who is a BenQ ambassador. And we've got in front of us here some really great monitors that he has used personally. Uh, he's a professional photographer out in LA. Art, uh, thanks for being with us. What can you tell us about these these great new monitors? Hi, Renardo. So yeah, these monitors are great. So I've been using BenQ monitors since they launched the SW line for photographers. So all that you see here, back here, is um, BenQ kind of the most current in the SW line. These are the, their three latest release. Uh, so we're trying. Let's start out that one over there. This is the SW240. This is kind of the starter monitor. So if you're a photographer or you're starting photography, you're still in school, you don't have a big budget yet, but you want to get into like really great hardware calibrated display, this would be the monitor for you. So it's great price. The other thing too that this monitor is really good for is that it's also really great if you have a limited space and you need to pack in like a really good display there. And then $400, I mean, you can't go wrong with it at all for a hardware calibrated display. Then we start to move into the bigger siblings like these two here. So we have SW271 right here. This is a 27 inch 4K display and then we also have a 3, 320. This is a 31.5 inch 4K display. So you can see there's a big size difference in the jump. And the monitor I edit on every day is this one, SW320. I love their display. I love all the BenQ products. And I'm also one of the kind of person too that if I don't believe in a product, I wouldn't be saying great things about them. Usually, because I, I really care about what I do, I really care about the work that I'm producing and color accuracy and color consistency. So the nice thing about all BenQ display is that all their display on the SW line here, like I said, it's a line that are designed for photographers, can display 99% Adobe RGB. It can also display 100% sRGB and 100% Rec. 709 for video editors. And the other thing too is I do some YouTube videos as well and I do some editing. So what I do is I also edit them on the BenQ display as well, which is also really nice. Um, a lot of these BenQ too, for example, these two, these top of the line ones, the, the 32 inch and the 27 inch one, also support HDR as well. So you can do HDR color space. And then when you get into like the high end BenQ as well, they come with a little hockey puck. And this hockey puck is really kind of cool because on the fly, you can dynamically change the color. Like, for example, this is Adobe RGB. The moment you change to sRGB, you're going to notice the color becomes a little bit more desat and so forth. But if I jump into HDR color mode, you're going to notice like the color really changed drastically, right? So these are for video. But when I'm doing the editing, it's really great because I can have one one button for my calibration and I can easily reference sRGB which most of the displays are now displaying on and quickly switch over to see how my color looks in another color space you know before I finalize the photo before I send it out to the clients and so forth. Yeah it seems like a really great addition to speed up your workflow to be able to switch quickly like that. Absolutely. Are there some other things you can tell us? Is that is this what they call it there, the hot key puck? Yeah, pretty much the hot key puck. And the hot key pucks are in the larger model, so 27 inch or above. When we talk about the 240, the uh, SW240, the SW240 does not come with a hot key puck. However, they have built that in as an advanced uh, hot key mode. So I can go in here and I can change to Adobe RGB, sRGB. I can go into true black and white mode. The other thing too that's really cool about this as a photographer is that like sometimes you want to turn the picture into black and white, but you don't want to change the main edit of the photo itself. So using the black and white quick mode is really awesome because it turns the display into true black and white mode almost like immediately. And then you can actually just turn it back into color really quickly just like that. Yeah, that seems like a really useful tool. And I'm reading here that a lot of them come with, uh, with hardware calibration. All these display, all the SW line of NQ and including the SW line for photographers and they also have a PV line which is more for just video editors or graphic industrial designers who doesn't need 99% of Adobe RGB. The price is a little bit more economical on those models. So all of those are hardware calibrated display. So hardware calibrate, calibrate display is really awesome. Essentially I like to use a raw and JPEG analogy when I describe hardware calibration. So when you calibrate a screen that's non-hardware calibrated, it's like you're using software to manipulate the output from a video card, right, in order for the color to look correct. So it's kind of like you're you're sending out a compressed JPEG signal of what the pictures should look like. With a hardware calibrated display, 
it's kind of really nice because it's kind of like outputting raw from your video card. So essentially, the software is telling the video card output everything you can, and all the color adjustment are going to be done in the computer and a lookup table inside the monitor itself. So there's a computer built in and so forth that does the hardware calibration in the display itself, which makes the color really consistent and really great. One of the things that you have to use to, with any hardware calibrated displays, you have to use the proprietary software from the manufacturer. In this case, with BenQ, they have Palette Master Element, and that would be the software that you would use, kind of like a code software to install your computer so that software can talk to the display. The only other thing that you're going to need to calibrate these is a calibration device. An x write one or a data color one would be work perfectly to take all the devices. So I personally use the i1, dis uh, i1 Display Pro from x write I'm also on their Colorado too, so that's why I like I use a lot of X-Rite products. So full disclosure, but I, I've been using X-Rite product before they became X-Rite. Art, thank you very much for your time. Um, it's been great talking about these uh, these new monitors over at over at BenQ. Um, again, thank you, Art, for uh, as BenQ ambassador. And uh, remember to uh, like and subscribe, and to hit that little bell to get notifications for more cool stuff from PersonalView.com.